and it's time to catch up with our good friend AJ Spur. How are you, my friend? I am well, thanks. Thanks for having me. <laughs> it's so good to have you today, and uh, we're making a, a Zoom video as well. We've got you on the radio. It's uh, so cool that you're up early chatting to us today. Thanks for joining us. Oh, pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> and AJ, you always bring something really exciting to talk about. I love it because there's a, per a parental focus, a bit of a yeah. mama heart that comes across. Have you got yeah. something for us this morning? Yeah, yeah. I, on the weekend, it really struck me. I, for the first time ever, I actually sent an email to our footy club mm. to thank them for the amazing work of the umpire in the game. Oh, wow. wow. It turns out I'm probably the first parent that's ever done that. I, really <laughs> I, I think there's been a few emails that have gone to footy clubs about umpiring, <laughs> but probably yeah. not a positive one. Is that yeah, fair that's to say? Right. And I, I just thought she'd done such an amazing job and, and you know, kept our, our motley crew of boys in check. And mm -hmm. um, and I, I just had to, you know, I, I thought, you know, they need to hear this because they probably don't hear thanks very often. Yes. Um, these are one of those unpopular decisions that are, are necessary but not well liked. Yeah. Um, and, and the footy club, they actually wrote back and said she's actually decided to resign because of oh. all the nastiness oh. from oh. parents on the sidelines. I oh, know. Um, so, I, yeah, I just thought. Wow, we that's really mean. And what mm. a terrible example that mm. parents are setting on the sidelines for our kids. And you know, when you walk out to the onto the footy field, there is a giant sign that says, just a reminder, these are just kids, <laughs> these are just volunteers. Yeah. This is not, you know, a, a, a grand final. This is just this is fun. And the ground marshal had to come around and remind the, the parents of the opposition, these are 12-year-old kids. Yeah. Let's everything that we say mm. needs to be encouraging. And I thought, wow, that's a, that's a sermon right there, isn't it? That'll preach. Oh, I love that. That's so true. <laughs> it and, is so true. And, you know, in this day and age, you know, people uh, are, are getting a bit out of control with their opinions, yeah. mm. uh, with their insults and, you know, the, mm. you know, calling the ref this, calling the ref that. Mm. Um, yeah. it's, it's a game, people. Let's have yes. fun. Let's enjoy the game. Let's have a bit of sportsmanship, hey? <laughs> That's right. Yeah, teach our kids. Uh, you know, what's the appropriate response when you're when you're losing, or when the when the umpire inevitably does make a mistake because they're human too. Yeah. Uh, you know, let let's all learn to shake it off, as a great philosopher once said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Taylor Swift. Yeah. Well, yes. I don't know if Tay has ever been called that before. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but there's also a, such a great principle in what you just said there, which is to be mm. proactive with our praise. And yes. often we think things and we're very quick to say when something doesn't go our way or we're not happy with something. But mm. how often is it that we remember to actually say thank you mm. and say, hey, you did a great job. And you can see yeah. in people's eyes what an impact that has. Mm. And mm. for people that often that's the one piece I've read actually research before that has said that people would prefer that from their bosses, a mm. thanks and a good job well done than a pay rise. Yeah, yeah. It's actually more yeah. meaningful and cheaper. Yeah. So mm. there you go. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. If people feel appreciated, they're prepared to do far more. And I was uh, inspired by um, Matthew 14 um, when it says, here's another way to put it. You're here to be a light, bringing out the God colours in the world. God isn't a secret to be kept. We're going public with this as public on a, as a city on a hill. If I make you light bearers, you don't think I'm going to hide you under a bucket, do you? I'm putting you on a light stand. Now that I've put you there on a hilltop on a light stand, shine, keep your house, be generous, keep open house, be generous with your lives. By opening up to others, you'll prompt people to open up with God, this generous Father in heaven. And uh, it, it's Matthew 5, 14, sorry. And it just, every time I think that, I think, how's your glow? Yeah. If we're called to be the light of the world, How's your glow? Mm. And, you know, and when you meet people with the unpopular jobs, like the person that checks your bag on the way out of a, a store or the security guard at the airport that, that wants to do a, a full body search, you say, <laughs> hey, you know what? Thanks. You are doing an amazing job. Here's a challenge where well, you pulled over for a speeding ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for keeping that, me safe. Yeah, kept it, keeping the street safe. Yeah, look, I I made a mistake there. You, you know, the umpires of 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 our state, <laughs> and 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 we need people to remind us. Hey, check your glow. How mm, you doing? Very How, good. You know, yeah, absolutely love it. Well, we're chatting mm. with Annette Spur, and uh, we're talking about kindness today.